Movin, Akini, I'm in grade six. My favorite subject is science. I'm going to count the videos. Yes, and I have a book about robots that I read about humans. And when I go back, I'm going to read about a giraffe. I'm excited about this. <laughs> Um, we're here to date count giraffes and to see how many, um, to see the ratio of trees to giraffes. Just, we're just basically going to do a lot of research concerning giraffes and their well-being. We also want to see if there'll be more giraffes in the conservancy or in the um, pastoral group ranches. Yeah. Hi, I'm excited to take those photos. Woo, I'm so excited. Excited. <laughs> that is melting of joy. Yeah. Good. We are so excited we don't even want to go back home. Paula Kahumbu and I thought, wouldn't it be wonderful if we also involve the next generation? You students who are going to be the future leaders in making decisions about conservation and development in Kenya going forward. Bring you to Impala and do the same activity on a smaller scale associated with giraffes. And so we're calling the event the Kids Twiga Tally. Uh, you children are the first children in the world to help us to count the reticulated giraffes and you're going to use some new technology. It hasn't even been released to the world yet, using special cameras, special computers, and you're going to help us to count all of the giraffes in this area. Take the little blue arrow. You want the picture of the giraffe facing to the right. They just found one. There's two over there. Okay, but now can we tell? Is it a boy or a girl? Can you guys tell? It's not boy. you, Dan. It's a boy. It's a yeah. And between the female and the male giraffes, which one lives longer? Which one lives longer? In most mammals, the female lives longer than the male because the males fight. I want the kids to hold it. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Can you tell? You don't want to touch it. Tickle. Say knock, knock, knock. Who do you think will come out? Yeah, the males have big long curves. 
because they fight with each other. The males fight with each other with their horns. Some animals eat only grass, and some animals eat only trees, and some eat both. Actually, we have nine copies okay, and we are checking which match. So, kids just got back from the field today and we've printed out a number of pictures of giraffes and they're practicing to see if they can match the pattern on one giraffe to the pattern on the other. It's kind of like a, um, a game. We're trying to show them how the IBIS software is going to work. So, on the computer, they we match the giraffes electronically, but we want them to have a chance to do it just on paper. Yeah. is an automated system that looks at the images through the computer and this system will do thousands of pictures very quickly. It took you eight pictures, 15 minutes, the computer will do it in a few minutes. of having counted giraffes electronically, we will not sit back and watch as the animals are being killed. Neither shall we participate in the trading of, of animal parts. We are also going to train people to take care of the animals because they are part of the environment. Together, we will hold hands and say no, no to poaching and other wildlife destruction. Pleasure. <laughs> 